Okay, fellow YouTube, this is just the Yosemite default background when you get it when you install the OS or if you get the new a new Mac computer or um oh yeah a Mac computer. So this is running on a MacBook Air late uh, mid two thousand and twelve model. I'll just show you. So I've got updates on the App Store. So as you can see here, eleven inch. So this is the basic model, nothing too fancy. Um, I'll just put that audio recording there. Um, so yeah. So nothing's really changed. You get all your programs, um, like you find. Nothing's like incredibly changed since Mavericks, like I said before. So we're gonna. I'll just do some performances um, on here. So say. Open, uh, I'll open up the sub store anyway because it's going to want to update something or other. So the interface hasn't changed. I'll open up Chrome. See, nothing. It's not really slow. I find it's a bit more quicker than uh, Mavericks, actually. And this only has. This is like half the it's, it's like RAM size of it of the um, iMac I have downstairs. So, yeah. So that was pretty quick. That's still loading. No. So they made it more I like iOS 7 feel, and there's some really good features. So it will have the same features as the Mac does, which is you can hook your iPhone up to it. You can make calls from your say you got a call, some calling you on your iPhone. You can take the call from your computer. Like same with the iPad. And etc. Running on iOS 8. And yes, I have finally updated the iPad Mini to iOS 8.1 because there's a jailbreak for it, so that would be in its own separate video, which I probably won't be doing for a while until they make it the jailbreak release for Mac. So I should have kept it at seven. I got too excited, and I should have kept it at 7.1.2. But yeah. Um, so yeah, that's. I don't know if there's anything else to tell you about the computer, really. Um, I'm just going to update this so I can do that in the background. Um, so you get, still get the same notification. So I'm assuming you can add widgets. So they're just trying. To, they're just trying to make the system more like convenient, more iOS friendly, and that's what they have done. They've been they've, they've been doing this since Line made them more. More sort of conveying onto iOS. So eventually, eventually, it's iOS is going to be iOS will pretty much with the system on here, or even a Mac OS could be running on the iPhone one day. You probably could run an old version of Mac OS on your iPhone, but you pro that'd probably too, be too much hard work to do. But yes. So what I'm going to do now is end the video. Sorry, it wasn't long enough. Just because I just wanted to show you what it looked like and how it like some basic performance. So, so yeah, I'm going to end the video now and hopefully you'll enjoy this.